Waterville was the location of the 12th annual Maine International Film Festival. The world premiere of the movie Tap was on July 12th. Tapped examines the role of the bottled water industry and its effects on health, climate change, and pollution. After its first showings, the director Stephanie Sodic and the line producer Olsen were available to answer questions. questions. Why did you take this on? I learned about the plastic stew in the ocean, and I thought, how can people not know about this? And sort of went backwards from there, you know, sort of plastic, as you can see, we definitely are, are no friends of plastic, but uh, kept coming back to bottled water over and over again and thought, can, maybe we can do what Al Gore did for the, the energy efficient light bulb. If we all just made this simple sacrifice of giving up bottled water, uh, you see, we could have a, a tremendous effect on the environment. For me, when we started telling this story, we weren't exactly sure the direction that we were going to take it. We knew you know, a certain number of things that were terrible about bottled water, but we certainly didn't know this whole story. We learned the majority of this in the last 15 months in the making of the film. And the moment that I stood on that beach in Hawaii absolutely changed my life. I mean, to look down and to dig down into the sand, and, you know, we, I think we expected the beach to look like a landfill, and frankly, it didn't. We walked out, and my first thought was, oh, this is not great. It's not going to look that great on camera. There's not that much plastic. And then you dig down, and you realize that's all it is, is plastic. There was almost no sand there at all. Uh, it was absolutely life-changing for all of us standing there in that moment. And I had already given up bottled water, you know, my second day on the project. I was an occasional bottled water drinker, and as I started reading this, I was horrified at my contribution of drinking even a couple of bottles a week. And so I think the story really came together as the months went on, and we just thought this is a story that can't afford not to be told, and not just certain parts of it, but the whole story of bottled water and how absurd the whole idea is and what a waste it is. There's a, we obviously believe there's a place for bottled water in the world. But ultimately, it is an absurd product to even be available for everyday sales. So that was kind of what led us to get you know, more and more passionate about it. And now you know, we're so grateful for the people like the activists that are here that are, you guys are the ones that are making the, the difference every day. And, and we hope that our film can you know, contribute to that. That's, that's the purpose. We just hope to get it out there. We hope that somebody does pick it up for distribution so we can have an even wider um, viewing population than the, the festivals and, and you know, hope to get community screenings going and all of that because it's, it's just so important to the message. Rescue needs air packs? Good, we'll give you $100,000. We'll give you $2,500 for that sign in front of the fire station. And the money just keeps coming and coming and coming and the communities who are cash strapped are saying, wow, this is a really good idea as opposed to looking at it as to what it actually is, a buy-off. Freiburg's immediate issue was not a water issue, had nothing to do with water. It had to do with 35,000 truck trips a year going through the communities in that area. And not on the roads that Nestle told us they were going to be running on, because everybody has seen them on the roads that aren't on the roads that they officially say they run on. And that goes all the way to the state. And unfortunately, the state legislature hasn't really caught up with the population because this issue is, is being spread and is being won in the grassroots. It, it, it has taken a long time for it to come along, but it is coming along. And, uh, but the state doesn't get it. So much so that, and we couldn't, we, we had a very simple bill that we put in, which just said that we would extend to groundwater the same protection that surface water has. It's one hydrological system with two bodies of law. So how simple can that be? We couldn't get one vote out of the Natural Resource Committee. Not one vote to get it out onto the floor where we could have had a great debate about it. Between showings, they were also outdoors with a truckload of pollen spring bottles. Plastic degrades so that in refilling this bottle and washing it, that 
I might actually be putting chemicals into my water by doing so. So we've stopped drinking bottled water altogether. All the bottles behind me are Nestle bottles. Okay. So Poland Spring and Pure Life are both Nestle brands. Okay. Um, we chose to specifically only use Nestle brands here today because we're in Maine and so we want to show how people are buying back the very own water that they live next to. So these are 7,000 bottles. This was collected in three days in Winthrop. But only six states recycle um, bottled water. So that's a lot of um, empty bottles that are ending up in landfills. And as you can see, 30 million end up in landfills every day. But now we just had our new website up live two weeks ago. Okay. And we're going to be constantly updating that with what's happening. You'll get email updates. So that'll certainly the DVDs will be yep. one of our updates. And then the second sheet is if you're interested in hosting um, local screenings or helping us arrange other screenings, sign up on that one too. Okay. So sign up on both if you're interested yep. so that we can get around to that. All right, thank yeah. you, we will. Uh -huh.